Okay, I've got all my little brackets here, built and painted to hold everything together. Basically got everything ready to go. See, I touched all the paint up in here. Got everything cleaned up. I moved the wire for the AC uh, pressure switch over to this side of the car. I've rewired my fan. I've got my fan all ready to go. So what I need to do now is go ahead and uh, do a little taping up of the wires and go ahead and start installing all my, my gear before I put the radiator in for good. Here now I've fabbed up my, my two tubes here. I don't have them on here all the way yet, but I've got to use two little pieces to make everything kind of come around the corner right. So I've got that, and I've got a little piece of a tube in here. And this right here connects to the line coming out from under the car. And this one is the same. It's got some neat little bends here. It goes down and goes back under the car. Okay, now I've got it all here together. I've got uh, the radiator in and screwed down. Really good. I got my overflow bottle back in, my power steering reservoir back in. I actually have my uh, AC hose connected here. I've got to connect the AC hose down there. In a while, you can't see it, but that's the one that will hook up to the uh, to the dryer, and then the, the dryer hose. I have it so that it routes up through here, across, and up into the air conditioner unit. Everything's bolted together. All the hoses are tight, I'm ready to put some fluid in it. All right, now I've filled everything back up again, and I've run it for a while. I've opened up the heater core and everything to let try to get all the air out of it as I can. And so far, so good. Uh, no leaks. I drove it around the neighborhood and it seemed to uh, do fine, didn't overheat. But there's one more uh, piece of my solution here that I'm working on. And as you can see right here, I've got this piece of, uh, well, it's 135 degree extruded aluminum angle. You can see it's kind of 90 degrees to the curve, the tangent of this curve right here. So I'm going to build a little panel here to block off the hood here. So, but first I want to get this piece of metal in here to come over the edge. So I'm going to take a little bit of this off. I'll probably take a, like a 3 16 of an inch off of this side and 3 16 off of this side. I've got it so that it slots, slots in and it clamps onto here. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I drilled these little rivets out. I'm just going to go ahead and put little number six screws back through all of this to hold all this together. And then I'm going to build that panel from here that come, it'll come up at an angle and down, I'm going to put a piece of bulb, rubber bulb sealing on the top of it. And then when that's done, I'm going to build little aluminum panels that close this off on this side and close it off on this side so that I can separate the nose, the complete nose of the car from the back of the foot box. So as soon as I get this mounted on here and the hood can close, I'm going to get the top piece made. <laughs> 